In this video, I will show students how to navigate to their different classes inside of Microsoft Teams, how to view their assignments inside those classes, and how to complete and turn in your assignments. So when you log into Microsoft Teams, on the left here are some tabs. You want to be on the Teams tab. It's the third one down. Click on it. You will see all of your classes. These are all of your different classes that you're in. Okay, Yours may be different than these ones. All right, let's take social studies first. So social studies, I open it up and it brings me to the post page. Assignments will post on the post page, but there may be other things that your teacher has posted here. So it's best to go up to the assignments tab. Your assignments will load. Anything that you have to do on, is under assign. So here is our assignment. We click on it, it opens up the assignment. So I wanna show you how this is set up. So up here, we have the title of the assignment. We have how many points it's out of, when it is due, and then the instructions. Okay, The instructions say, watch this video. It's a YouTube link. So all you have to do is click the video, and it opens up in a new screen. You can watch that video. Then step two is answer the five questions in the Word file below or on a separate piece of paper and submit a picture. So the next section on an assignment is the reference materials. So my teacher here has posted a PowerPoint and two links. Both of these links turn out to be how to take a picture of your work and turn it in. So my teachers put those two links if I need them. If I want to watch that video, I can just click on it and it opens in a this new tab. A Down here after the reference material is my work. So I can see here that I have a word file called the end of the Great Depression. So I click on it it opens up here. Now this is where a lot of kids are getting stuck. They expect they can just type right into this, but they can't, okay? You have to, when you get a Word file as an assignment, you have to come up here to the right, click Edit Document, and Edit in Browser, okay? The screen will refresh and reopen your document inside of Microsoft Word inside of Teams. Now I'll be able to write my answer. As I type my answer, it will say saved up here or saving as I'm typing. You can see it's a saving. And once it's switched over to saved, you know that it has saved automatically. So you would type in all of your answers right after each of these questions or whatever the word document is that your teacher gives. Maybe it's a chart that you need to fill in or a graphic organizer. Um, and so you do your work, you type right into the spaces, and then once it says saved, you click this close, this close, not the red X in the corner, this close button right here. It's kind of in the middle of the upper right. So when you click that close, it brings you back to this assignment. So now I have my work there, okay? And I know it's there and I can double check on it by clicking on it and it will reopen. I should see my answers there if I've typed in my answers. If I click on it and it's blank, don't turn it in because clearly your answers didn't save. Again, go up to edit document, edit in browser, and type in your answers. Okay, I'll show you my answer. Okay, it was right here. I'm gonna put it in bold just so it's easy to see. So I can click close here, all right? Now, if I go back into it, Boom, there's my answer right there. I know my answers are in there and I can click the button right here to turn it in. Okay. If the Word document's not working, teachers are also accepting pictures. So you can click this add work. If I'm on a computer, I can attach a picture from my computer and the directions to do that is right here. And then, or if I'm on my phone, I can take a photo on my phone and attach it right here okay once once i upload my pictures they'll they'll display right here and i can click on them and see them so once i'm convinced that my work is is complete right here that's when i click the turn in button right up here in the corner and their one assignment is done okay let's click all teams to go back to all of our teams okay now let's check out ela ela is a little different here so again once we get in okay we have some directions here all right but we can find our assignments under the assignments tab these are past due assignments remember you can turn in late assignments with no penalty uh no points off so 
it's a good idea to get all your assignments in. Um, this is the current assignment. I'm going to click on this current assignment. Again, it's set up the same way. Title, when is it due, the instructions. Watch this video, answer the questions that are attached. This one's set up a little different. It's not a Word file that you type into. Instead, this is a Microsoft form. You can see the little F icon right here. If we click on that, it's going to bring us right to our form. And we'll go through and we just select our answers or maybe there's a box where we have to type in an answer once we've answered all of the questions you click submit at the bottom and you're done if you click the close button up here you'll see there's no turn in button here there's no turn in button here because the work is a form and when you click submit on the form that turns your assignment into your teacher so in review Teams on the side here has all of your classes. Each week you need to go into each of your classes, check out what the assignment is, complete the assignment, and turn it in. Also, over on the side right here you can see I have a chat with a little number two. Chat is where maybe your teachers have sent you a direct message privately so not everyone sees it. If you click on your chat you can see your messages. Anything that's in bold you can uh, click on that means there's a new message in there and you can feel free to reply back to your teachers you should be replying back to your teachers as they send messages they're checking in on you making sure that you've done everything that you need to do if you have questions reach out to your teachers through that chat so I'll show you how to do that so if I click on chat and I click right up here it says new chat I can start typing a teacher's name say even I want to um, send a message to Mr. Hammond. I can start typing his name in, and there he is, and it says teacher underneath him. So I would just click on him, and I could send Mr. Hammond a message if I'm struggling on something that he assigned. That's how I would do it. So I hope this helps a little bit navigate. Really, when you get into Teams, you want to be on this Team tab so you can go into each of your classes or maybe this Chat tab if you're trying to send a message uh, to a teacher. Please let me know if you need any further assistance.